What is up RTX? Uh, thank you for coming to the music panel and my name is Nico, this is my studio. I'm going to show you some instruments that you've heard before, so now uh, you will hopefully know what they look like. We're going to start with the piano. The piano is going to be on your right, my left. It's an old Steinway, and it's the piano that you heard in Contact Redux, uh, expertly played by Meredith Hagen. It generally stays in tune, and when it does, it sounds pretty good. It's got a nice mellow sound to it. We're going to look at some different instruments now. We're going to start with this guitar right here. This is a Moog guitar, and uh, this guitar actually uh, has infinite sustain. Its electronics make it so that the strings just keep on going and going and going and it was used for the very first cues for our friend Locus, which Miles described as snakes in the grass ready to strike. And the same guitar was used a lot in the underwater shots for season 15. <laughs> Next, we've got my ISO booth, and it's not a real ISO booth because it's not completely isolated. Um, it's got four panels. I don't know if you can see them in this shot, uh, one, two, three, four that are four by eights and four inches thick uh, with uh, acoustic absorbent material. And these can be moved around as I need in the studio. Um, in this booth, we have a microphone that I use for my vocals. And then in the back, you can see uh, the amps that I use for guitars. Um, there's, there's a whole row of them. They all have slightly different sounds, different qualities. And uh, when they work, they're great. Next, we have our percussion department. Percussion department is this weird cocktail kit, uh, which is different from a regular drum kit in the sense that the kick drum is vertical. It goes upwards, which makes my neighbors very happy rather than traveling forward towards their kids' uh, bedrooms. So it can be played like a regular uh, trap kit, you know. I mostly use it for percussion. I sometimes use it as a trap kit, depending on what you use to strike the heads. So these are little fuzzy things. My cat had at this one. This almost has a timpani sound. Uh, cymbals can also be used, I mean, as regular cymbals. But you can also do like weird creepy sounds with them. Uh, you can also do swishes with this weird contraption, suggesting that something terrible is about to happen, like I'm going to drop this, whatever it's called. And so it's just a, a handy little thing to have, you know, when you're trying to lay down basic ideas for percussion. Um, next we have the most important addition to my studio, which is Maya. Maya, sit. Can I get a sit? Get a sip, baby. Here you have an arpeggione. This is an 1820 invention. It's the body of a cello. Um, it's got six strings. It's tuned like a guitar. In RVB, you, I'm trying to think of where I used it. Uh, the death of Felix when you know Felix falls down. There's this sort of like kind of glissando. That guitar right there. That's uh, copper. Dan Electro Baritone, 1956. That's what the original RVB theme was written on and was used a lot in seasons one through five. It, it's been used everywhere. This is sort of a regular guitar version of it, uh, 1960. Fender Telecaster, that's the sort of the cowboy guitar that you hear a lot in RVB. Finally, let's talk about synthesizers. Let me move this chair. This is a Moog Source 1980s uh, synth. It's taken over the duties of the Roland SH-101. Great monophonic synth, great at arpeggiating, doing sort of like those sorts of things. Below it, we have a memory Moog. This is a recent addition. And then below that, we've got the Moog Taurus pedals. You have heard those if you were at our concert at RTX 2012. Finally, we've got Roland JD-990. This is my first digital synth used a lot in season six onwards, mostly for ambience, for like weird creepy ambience, like this is the counselor now talking kind of thing. A 
matching controller. This is the Roland JD800, which has all these little knobs and sliders. And this was Roland's idea of creating a modern 1990s version of uh, you know these old analog synths that did have knobs and sliders. Lastly, we have my recording setup, which is a laptop from 2012. I sort of deliberately limit myself, like a lot of film composers and TV composers will have these like server farms of like eight, 10, you know, units. I like limiting myself to plugins and just sort of like forcing myself to commit to decisions. And this works fine, you know? The main program I use is uh, Cubase. I've been using it since about 2005. Cubase SX3 was the first version that I saw. And I'm now going to show you a cue from season 15 and you're gonna to get to hear some of the instruments that you've just seen.